This is Module 3, Lesson 6, Homework, Side 1. Today's objective was to use the distributive property as a strategy to multiply and divide using units of 6 and 7. Number 1. Label the tape diagrams. Then fill in the blanks below to make the statement true. A. 6 times 7. That's the problem I am trying to solve. So first I'm going to break it apart into 5 times 7 and another number times 7. So I'm labeling my boxes with a 7 in each box. So I have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. I added one more 7. So my second problem is 1 times 7, which is 7. When I look down below, I have 5 plus 1, which is the same as 6. I broke that apart into 5 times 7 plus 1 times 7. 5 times 7 is 35. 1 times 7 is 7. 35 plus 7, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Coming back up to the top, 6 times 7 is 42. Letter B, 7 times 7. Again, I'm starting with 5 times 7, so I'm going to label all my boxes in the tape diagram. If I look back at part A, I already know 5 times 7 is 35. This time I'm adding 2 7s, 7, 14. So I'm breaking apart the 7 into 5 plus 2, which is 5 times 7, plus 2 times 7. 5 times 7 is 35. 2 times 7 is 14. I need to add those numbers together. 35 plus 14. 5 plus 4 is 9, 3 plus 1 is 4, giving me a total of 49. 7 times 7 is 49. C, 8 times 7. Again, I'm starting with 5 times 7. Here are all my 7s. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35. I'm adding three more sevens. Seven, 14, 21. I broke this time the eight apart into three, five, and three. Five times seven plus three times seven. 35 plus 21. I'm going to write that problem on this side. Five plus one is six. Three plus two is five, giving me a total of 56. Eight times seven equals 56. D, 9 times 7. Again, I have 5 times 7 first. Here are my 5 7s, giving me 35. I'm adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 7. 4, or 7, 14, 21, 28. 
This is me a total of 28. I broke 9 apart into 5 and 4. 5 times 7 plus 4 times 7. 35 plus my total, 28. So I'm going to add 35 plus 28. 5 plus 8 is 13, 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 1 is 6, so 9 times 7 equals 63.